Hey, what's up, folks? Hey, who's who's in here? Say what's up. Broadcasting from the headquarters of Galactic Geek. And most of you that are probably watching right now in the notification gang already know Galactic Geek. You guys probably know that I like I, I wouldn't have this channel if Danny hadn't started his channel a long, long time ago and uh, had a ton of success, had a great time making stuff. Hey, mysticism, what's up, folks? Uh, we're going to get the, we're going to move the uh, up here. Wacker Maker, you'll, you'll see where I'm at, but here, Danny, come on over here and say what's up to these folks. Yeah, say what's up and tell them, give them, give them the background of your, hey, everybody. your channel and stuff. Uh, my channel started uh, doing a lot of Pixar Toy Story collecting, uh, but I do a lot more uh, collecting in general. So I started to rebrand it and just show my whole collection in general. Lost a bunch of followers in the uh, process, but that was expected. So uh, Josh and I are working on some stuff today with the uh, Dio stuff. I wanted to show you guys a little bit of that kind of stuff. Move over there. Yeah. Oh, hey, who's in here? Wacker, Dom Life, Legend of Light. What's up? Finner. All right. I'm gonna mute this room. All right, so we're in the garage. Hopefully, the connection will hold up. Obviously, the green screen's behind me. This is his workshop setup over here. Custom paint stuff. Actually, here, let's show him. Uh, first off, let's show him this. This uh, your this phone right cover. Here we use to build some guy on stuff like we work on the buildings. Rick Ward. Bring that in here because we got. Oh, oh yeah. Maybe. Hard to get focused there, but you yeah. start with exacto knife, do the brickwork, and then there's a bunch of processes. This machine right here actually cuts the foam. You can get precision straight cuts. Got this boy on Amazon. It's a Procton Soroka. That rocks. Right now, I'm working on uh, building some homemade spider webs. They're bendable, posable. Oh, uh, hell yeah. Bro, oh, bring that in close. Show that. Yeah, that I love. The Todd style yeah, webbing. Yeah, that, that's definitely where the inspiration came from. There, there's. I'm trying out different versions. You can make them short, long, but they're all bendable. And you take these things, which are just a floor wire. That rocks. You get whatever color you want, but obviously for webbing you want white, and then you just braid them together, basically, and then you can shape them, bend them, and they stay in position. Super cool. That's so. We got a custom that I'm working on now, which is Dark Man. Check this out, Dark Using, Man. Uh, Todd's hush figure in the. Uh, Bring him in real close for the uh, the Joker. Which what Joker was this? Uh, comedian. Uh, comedian. Yeah. Yeah. So the killing from Joker. Hush, the pants and vest and stuff from the, the killing Joker. He's. I mean, he's a little bit. He's got the hat. You're gonna hit him with a mat spray. Is that what? Yeah. He needs a mat spray, and then I'm also gonna do some dirt wash just to kind of dull oh, down yes. that shine a little bit. That rock. But this uh, accessory is actually in the Perf movie. Perfect. He's using the camera to photograph people to take their faces. So that's what makes it. All right, let's see what people are saying. What's going on? You guys, you guys hear, hear everything all right? Different different spot. I'm going to make sure they're... The, uh, hey, KTH, what's up? Am I, hey, Ryan, Clayton, Sean. How are we doing, folks? All right, should we look at this um, bookshelf? Yeah, this is just... Uh... Kind of hard to see all of it. This is some new stuff. I've got a lot more stuff in the basement. This is kind of my second layer out here in the garage. But yeah. So you're working on NECA and got the all OG. The old, yeah, I got all the old Kenner gargoyles with the NECA. Obviously, if you remember, we were using all of the, the clay in there. So we got two so far. But yeah, this is just some stuff I couldn't fit in the basement. Uh, as you can see, some of the old Pixar and Space Space stuff right over. Look at all those Woody's and Buzz. And out here. Oh, my God. It just rocks. And this is the uh, lightning collection, which I just kind of connected with collecting. The lightning collection is super awesome. And does anybody know? Is, I'm curious. Is, is the lightning collection reusing old pieces from a different line? Because it, it feels like the, the sculpts and stuff are all really amazing. Yeah, I can't really tell. Some 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 of them, like the Green Ranger, are unique. You know, with the arm. That's, yeah. That's built into well, I mean, specific, specifically the villains, like when you got Finner and it came out and we were looking and it, it's like there was a Finner that came out a while back that was like, it looked like the same exact fig, yeah, maybe? I, yeah, I'm not sure because then they released them in the Lightning Collection.
Jackson Graham, so I don't know if this is the villains are insane. But I would say the villains are uh, oh my god, take the cake in the lightning section. Every single one of the villains are better than the oh uh, yeah. And do they just nail it? These are all removable. Yeah. Yeah. Super, super cool collection if you're a powder. Lightning I at least want a Goldar. Yeah, that was my very first one because that was the that was the one I wanted. A good Goldar, supposedly a Yeah, I Now check this out. This is yeah, here's Jock Swiss and Jack cardboard is so awesome. This right here is a pre-made NECA. Super cool for the foreground, but this kind of stuff is what makes it back home. Well, the webbing I was talking about. Last oh, week. yeah, that rocks. Spider-Man With that armored Spidey. Yeah. Yeah, so we combined a lot of different pieces. Pieces of your collection, and like the NECA and the dumpsters and trash cans and stuff. Also, we used your, didn't we use your garden uh, roll there to make that fencing back there? And you made the brick wall. Yeah, some of that brick is handmade. Like, they have these pre-made backgrounds. Yeah. So that's kind of like a it really helps add to the background if you can kind of blur it out and just make it a part of the uh, part of the background. Those are helps. those are good. This I mean uh, the this this that is basically like that kind of almost like a paper craft kind of version of it where it's same company. A yeah. huge set. You just put it all together. And unfortunately my basement got wet and this was a little wet so it got warped. Oh right. So this is probably the coolest piece they they put out. It's just a full set cabin has the interior, it's removable roof. Oh, right. Yeah, Super right. Cool so you can get, yeah, your shots. Wait, hang on. Yeah, you can get through the windows. You can get through the back door here. Perfect for Evil Dead type of stuff. Hell yeah. Yeah, we. I would love to make some foam stuff that's like a fireplace and stuff that belongs in that set. Yeah, exactly. A fireplace would go well. It already has some real spider webs. Oh, I've got, I know I've got a, um, I've got like one of those Harry Potter, one of the clear Patronus things. Here. Oh right. And we could cut it up and put, paint it. Tack it on the wall. Or even just take the antlers off and make a, a chandelier. Yeah, because any of these walls and the windows and stuff serve as great backdrops. Yeah. Great for great photography. Yeah. 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 This. So the 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 idea here is that. Uh, the, these the tables will be <clears throat> modular. So we could set up and pull out the tables and reconfigure and make something like basically the setup we had for the drop shadow photo shoot. Or we could have one that's not you know, where it's maybe the buildings are flat forward facing you or they're more skewed, cheated to the side of it, whatever you need. You can move the buildings around, add more depth. Yeah. We were also talking about building a three way support. Yeah, some yeah. sort of raised freeway where you can see under, have that underpass kind of TV and have that kind of freeway there. Yeah, yeah if it was, do, do we have any of that foam? Oh, yeah, yeah it's a right big piece back there. Back there. Well, wow. even some of this. Oh, right. Grab this. I think the smaller will actually. Yeah. Well, so like, because this, because I'm thinking it doesn't actually have to be a real road, right? Like, it doesn't have to be big enough to actually get figures on it and no. it look realistic. So it can be fourth perspective and even kind of recede way back there. Yeah. Maybe even wrap around behind the building, kind of, to look like that. I think as long as we have those pillars coming down, kind of this infrastructure looking at, you don't really need to scale it and drag in the figures up. It's always just about yeah, right. I think it'll be easier that way too. Kind of scale down the this kind of insulation stuff. you can pick up at Lowe's. Yeah. And you can just use, you know, why uh, a knife and cut you a little piece, then use that wire cut and really get squared edges and make steps. Right. This is I think the better stuff for like bring close up detail. Yeah. Holds better close up detail. And then this is really porous and it just like when you spray paint it black, it'll look like asphalt, but up close, it's maybe. Yeah, it's really great for the road. Like you made it into the road. This, See, this is an this old is one. You made peak. this forever ago. Yeah, it rocks. Try five, seven years ago. You can tell by the 
leads me into the trim. But this is what the pink stuff looks like when you do bricks and then give it some paint. Yeah. But at this again, this is very old. If you do it recently, it would be a lot better. They even have a door, you know, doorknob, have all yeah. kinds of signs, even some pipage. Signs and pipage. Absolutely. Actually, when, when we were in Chicago the other week, I took a bunch of reference photos. Like yeah, it had really good, just like concrete and like like um, where where a, a square of brick would be a different color. Like it was, it used to be a window, and they bricked it up and and it's aged differently. Those little details really help instead of just like playing with it. Because even making these black sparkle bricks gives it something. But yeah, but this rocks, and I mean like you learn as you go. I I think this paper craft stuff it's it's very cool, awesome, and I know a lot of people love them for photography. But this has real texture. It's, and it's this, if you're trying to dimension. shoot anything, look at the light bulbs on that. It's yeah. shiny. This yeah. has a, a nice matte, real texture feel and look to it. I like these, and I, I know other people just put screens in the back. That totally works. And that's fine too. But I like it when it's, you just use that to fill a tiny piece. Absolutely. And everything else has some real like. Like the other night, I was shooting Spider Man out here, and because of the sweet buildings in the background, they were blurred, it really gave it that. Yeah, right. Screen, right. There was multiple layers of building. Yeah, because you don't want to see it close up. I mean, you can see the tape and crap on there. You know, it doesn't look... Some of the sides aren't painted. Right. It's meant to be from far away. And I mean, look, look the the windows are just yellow legal paper. Right. But once they're lit up, mm -hmm. they just look like they're glowing. Gosh, actually, made custom curtains. I guess they just yeah. have... Those were just see through. Which the, kind of, the curtains really help. Yeah. Gives it a whole thing. You can light up one room and not the other. The neck is this really does rock. I wish they would do like that, but sometimes it's fun to build your own stuff. But sometimes having complete built stuff, it's it just huge. it doesn't actually hold as many men as you want it to. It takes up a lot of space, and it doesn't actually. You could put one or two tops without making it look super crowded. Yeah. Unless it's all four turtles doing something or something, but it's. You got to be yeah. I want one of these. Yeah. These are on Amazon, thirty bucks or what they are. The fire escape it's meant to be a shell. Like a bathroom or something. Yeah, that rocks. But we're gonna plan on putting this on some brickwork, you know, having it actually be a functioning fire escape. Yeah, it's big enough for men. It has multi three levels, I think. Which again, you don't want to crowd it up. One or two people on this on the construction. Well, and that that's what I think cool about having this sort of modular thing is like, so you know, you you could set up the whole city like this right now, right? Or you, if you wanted to get like a cool, just a close-up shot where it's like this, and then you have, you just make, you, you fake your little scene right there. You could put that fire escape like on this brick wall yeah. right next to that. Even if you wanted to do brick with a ladder. Yeah. And it's just a right. very tight shot of that. It's plenty of room. So having the space to move I might around. get another one of these. I'm, I'm wait behind in the chat. Did I miss anything? Hey, Rob Z, what's up? City Dyer, folks. Hey, Sky Knight, how's it going? Sky Knight, drop your Discord link. We're hanging out in Galactic Geeks headquarters here. We're rebuilding the City Dio. Go, uh, definitely go follow. Galactic Geek and turn on the notifications for his channel because uh, I want to come back here and make progress on this. Go live with the yeah. construction. So live guys will yeah, we'll do live streams from his channel. And like you mentioned, we'll have it where you can see, you know, these constructions are going to be ready for the different days. Yeah. Multi functional type of deal. It's going to be kind of in the middle of the day. So when we post this, it'll be three o'clock, six you know, that's when they shine. Well, I mean, even yeah, when the, when, Josh designed this intensely. when they're lit from the inside, it doesn't even yeah, it doesn't even yeah. The, Again, the, the, the yellow paper right, it just totally has that little glow from inside. You don't even see the blue you know lines of the legal paper. Yeah, it's deep in the like kind of out of focus. We were also kind of because we want to make a uh, drop shadow toy commercial like in the style of. Spawn Dreamhouse, which we made together. Uh, hey, Doug, what's up, Fabian's Finest Freak? Uh, but we were kind of envisioning a gag where 
one of the shots in the toy trailer would be uh, the toy commercial is um, some kind of scene that's happening on the street. But then there would be a camera move that would go, Woo, and there's a bat cave kind of hidden layer below. Yes, so, we, need, we need to do that. Yeah, so we, you know, with them being up on tables and stuff, you can allow, you can do a lot. The transition over from kind of rolling around. Yeah. You see the similar, the similar layer down there. Yeah, this the building. The, these buildings are, are when you get up close to them, you'll see just kind of how crap crap they are. But when they're soft focus in the background, it doesn't really matter. And then you can see even like that water tower, which I used the like visibly corrugated part of the uh, that okay? of the cardboard to have those like ridges on it. Oh yeah, it's great. This is another thing I want to finish painting, but. Oh yeah, right. And just the front side of it, just the show side is all it's painted basically. It looks great when it's just in the background. Have you ever done anything with fake smoke? Like with cotton balls? Actually uh, oh with actual like lit from within the way that like toy photographers do. No, but I just picked these up. Amazon, my photographers are familiar. Oh basically fake atmosphere that's for that kind of smoke. So what's the gag? Kind of just hangs there. in the air. Oh yeah. I mean, can you, you see, see that, that a little bit? It's probably hard to shift it. Right. Camera resolution, probably not. Oh, but I mean, yeah. yeah. That's a look amazing. Light, yeah. It does. It hazes a little bit. It stays around. Which might be. That rocks. Useful. So we were expensive, but we could use it for some things. But you're talking about practical. Like, yeah, we're using balls and yeah. then put a light in that. Yeah, I want to make like an explosion or like chicken wire yeah. around a light. And the um really what would go along the way on this one is putting stickers on it this. hazard sign yeah electric yeah yeah warning no parking those kinds of just like, a small detail yeah just print it on paper just putting that on there boom how much right. is, uh, that's, you know obviously do not enter the print there but putting small details like that in yeah Yeah, right. Stuff like that, and then you could use straws, paint them to make them look like right. letters. Kind of have an, an awning here, maybe made out of this same material. Yeah, like right. Rested, you know, little things like that to like make this pop that much more. Yeah, for me, and like using cardboard and crap, it's not about like getting the detail being perfect, especially for the background details, but it's just like having different textures. Yeah. This is molded plastic. That's foam, that's cardboard, that's paper, and even if they're not necessarily like and the shape of the, yeah, the, there. the fake plants, even though they're they're cheesy and look stupid when you have them just kind of poking out. Yeah, they do a lot. Pop the green, the uh, the the mesh of the fence. Can you see that back there? Where? Can you hear us? Um, what do we got? Oh, you got yellow screen up there. Got this, yeah. The old rest of the line going. You got us. Well, let's look at. Uh, okay, because so we're here in this green screen. Um, Which is where we did a lot of the drop the drop. Shuttle. Yeah, right. So you guys get to see the live action. So. Drop shadow here. This idea came about, and you'll see uh, my name and our friend Wilson's name and Danny's name here is on the front. 
when I first heard this idea, they had already been kind of just like batting it back and forth. And they were, I came over one day and they're like, hey, what about, uh, what about this? He's a gra graphic designer and uh, superhero, and his name is Drop Shadow, which is a, you know just a, a Photoshop effect. You put a drop shadow on whatever you but want. It definitely sounds like a cool name. Yeah, so it was a pun. Yeah, right. And I was like, oh, yeah, of course. And then his secret identity is Matt Finish. And yeah, ha, ha, ha. Yeah, hilarious. Yeah, the idea just kept going. Yeah, but it was also because we make videos and stuff, which, you know, you would know. You've seen uh, Spawn Dreamhouse and that. It wasn't like the, in the realm of like a thing we would actually make a video. About. Right. So it was just kind of like, yeah. It, oh, yeah. Put back. Yeah, it's funny. And then, you know, it's, but not realistic like to make. And we had even made, we made for a, a 48 hour film contest years ago, like a superhero comedy, yes, that was like in the same, same thing. Yeah. We, had, we, they, we, we drew this prompt, we had to make a superhero thing, and it had to have a lawyer. So we made a lawyer superhero thing. A lot lawyer of by day, superhero by night. Yeah. It fit perfectly, just like this kind of guy who has the whole daytime job as a graphic designer. Yeah, right. Well, in the same vibe, which is that, like, just Adam Batman West vibe. Yeah, a corny ass. Yeah. A lot of Batman inspiration. Um, but anyway, the pandemic, you know, comes around, and I'm like, well, I want to make something, and we can't make videos. What about a comic? So you'll see in here that Galactic Geek actually is a, is a character in the book. I, I, I used, I, we took vid photos of, Wilson and Danny, and I, I kind of use them as photo reference to have the characters in here. Um, so as far as like being in the storyline, you know, I just I just drew my buddies um, hanging out for that, and then of course enlisted Galactic Geeks' expertise with putting together this huge custom thing. Uh, Funnest part about that. It kind of, yeah, it was kind of the most fun part of the whole thing, really. It took took forever. It also took the Months. like the longest time for the le for only two pages. You need to buy a lot of tools just to ship them apart. Yeah, yeah, spent a lot of money for sure. But then the other thing we wanted to do is we want to make this fake movie poster. So Galactic Geeks in there as the sidekick, Phil Stroke. <laughs> And there's even, we put some stuff of the photo shoots that we used to make that movie poster. And those are shot right here on this green screen in this, in this layer. So that's just some of the background of the book and Galactic Geeks. Heavy hand, he's all over this thing. Wouldn't, wouldn't happen. Without him, really. But Josh did most of the work. Well, I, you know, pushed the, pushed the idea down the field into a, the fact having a the thing. Comic in our hands, yeah, yeah, yeah. Which is the whole deal. Yeah, but it's awesome. If you haven't put the Kickstarter up, you definitely should. You get the physical copy and now all been unlocked. There's so much you can get with Kickstarter. Yeah, the uh, now I think, you know, when it first when we first released it, I was like, well, yeah, the book. I mean, it's kind of expensive, but it's it's expensive to get copies of it made. Now that we have all the stickers and uh, <clears throat> trading cards, now it's like, okay, now it's a great deal. The trading cards are huge. And the stickers are going to be huge. Yeah. But it just, that also, that whole thing kind of just shows you, you know, like I've been pushing this, this thing really hard and I put a lot of work into this, but really, like the stuff just doesn't like come to you in a vacuum. You bounce ideas off of other people and stuff. You get inspired by other people. It, you get part of an ecosystem. Yeah, and it took the better part of the, the whole quarantine plus time to even get it. Yeah, I mean, it was like two years of chipping away at this. On top of, yeah, other stuff. It's totally worth it now, though, to see it at the end. It's super cool. Yeah. yeah and for I, the second issue myself. And I, a lot of the, I think a lot of the assets that we created for this could be over into another one. We've got some new stuff planned for the next issue. Yeah. Different types of art and different you know, venues to take the characters. Hopefully, hopefully we can have another one ready like next year sometime. Yeah. Maybe if we have time to do a live action trailer. Yeah, I think we should. See, like what you see if it was a movie. Yeah, yeah. I want to get those costumes back out and shoot like yeah. real footage with them. At least some characters. Yeah. We I, we need to do. <laughs> I want, we need to put you guys in the costumes and uh, 
put put you like standing on a lazy susan and do the x-men anime yeah style yeah 360s yeah. Yeah, even kind of point out the <coughs> like the cards yeah right <laughs> hat switch collector dude to blaze puppy flex i don't know if i said what's up to y'all we're just hanging out in galactic geeks uh layers cool spot to be is actually my second yeah, this is the second layer. This is the second. This is the overflow. What happens if you click long enough. You see, we did. It was how many? It was a, a while back now. A uh, collection tour in yeah. your basement. Which has completely changed. Has Since it? Then, yeah. Had to do some rearranging, get some new shelves. So. You've got pieces of that up though, right? A tour of that yeah. new setup. Yeah. Yeah. Um, my shorts. Videos. I'm gonna do another actual video for the basement because there's actually shelves down there. Oh hell yeah! Shelves that you turn me on to. Oh right, yeah right. But we definitely have some stuff planned out here for the style stuff and making making that city come alive a little bit more. I, you know, <clears throat> so my setup I have that that has like display stuff on it, that wooden one next to the glass one. And then I have that folding table that I can move around and I use kind of as workspace and stuff. But the, what sucks is I have to, I don't have like a permanent spot. Prep, you know, my, my Prep, stuff that I yeah. use all the time right. and want to have out and want in to see. Reach. Yeah, I have it all in in like separate drawers and shit. And it's yeah. like, where did I put whatever I, color? I need it. Um, messy, so it's, you know, it's chaos. You know, yeah, so I don't have to go through three drawers to be like, where's my green paint? Where's my green, yeah. Yeah, all this stuff pretty decent as far as again, I want to I have enough room in the basement, I want to store it and actually put some work and be able to do all the bad things and get everything in the cabinet, couldn't find anything. Yeah. Forgot I had stuff. But right. Yeah, right. But out here I could, you know, work for a couple hours. You know, open the garage door, let it dry or spray yeah. paint. You know, paint See, this is too. the the only garage here. I don't know if we really Yeah, the rest of it's like a normal garage. Yeah. Yeah, we decided to do some foam work and cut some, yeah. some more material, make that overpass, maybe like you were saying. Uh, we were also talking about making some like, stoops. Yes. Some, uh, storefronts. <clears throat> storefronts, stoops. To put it ground level, because some of these buildings work in the background, but you right. know what they look like at ground level. We need some stoops. Uh, yes. Steps, front doors. And yes. These little shops with some awnings and storefronts. Huge. Yeah, right. Because right now you're only limited to rooftops. Yeah, and maybe it's almost like it's like foam, almost as tall as this, but it's one floor. Like like it continues up so that you have yeah. room to put the the awnings over the right windows and the little things like that. That's, oh, that's road. awesome. And yes. Kind of just Hold it over a guy. That's awesome. You know what? We can stick these onto a pool of some sort and paint it all gray. And we can just turn them off, replace the batteries. And Hell yeah. line a street or even in an alley. Yeah, that'll be great. Because I was, I was thinking we were going to have to like 3D print some street lights or some crap like that. Well, if you might want to print the pool, you can turn it away. Is there, is there anything that white foam? White foam? Yeah. That, that little block I got, or did I throw it back? Right. Yeah. This is the stuff that's perfect for asphalt that has that shine. Yeah, well, so we might actually, I wonder if we if, if it would be better to have this not straight on the table. Right. And actually, it's it's up this far. I think so. That way we have the break in the sidewalk and the road. Yeah. Sitting up on top of Right, and then also like if we have a place where it's front and stoop, and they would have like in the city or apartment, yes. right? So it, yeah. you could put stuff down there, like it recedes down. You like have a little bit, yeah, right, a little bit of low, yeah, absolutely, to go go down. Yeah, one of the side of buildings you can see one of these popping out. Oh yeah, I 
again, even if it's blurry, it's all the Right. I was thinking it would be cool to, um, another detail to put in the background is like, the way we did the, the yellow windows that glow from within when they have a light, is to do one that was like the, was like the dome of like a museum or something. Yeah. Like a rounded. A rounded roof of wood. Yeah, glowing from within. Would be really good. That would be cool. And again, all the different shapes of buildings like the tall, skinny. Uh, yeah, right. And having that rounded dome would be cool. Uh, skyline would be beneficial too. <laughs> uh, These are good too. I've yeah. got, I mean, pretty good again for more background. And you have to light it just right, or at least because it's kind of waxy looking. Yeah, right, right. Because it's not because it's all the same yeah. texture, exactly. There and it's no reflecting. Way. It's not actually, there's not actually breaks in there. Not... for a soft background, it looks like a huge negative environment. Right. I mean, it's cool. It's really cool. It's just, they take up too much room. Right. Well, yeah. See, that's kind of the thing of the city. The Halloween coming around the corner. I'm going to keep it up. Stop making things. At least the big houses are horror. Oh yeah. Some of the horror figures that I have. You have a shitload. I have um. I have Neca Ash. Evil Dead. Yeah. If you want to use that. Yeah. yeah. Oh yeah. It's got the deer head party. and everything. Yeah. Like, 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 yeah. Something like that. Do you have do you have some good like uh, generic like camp like like Friday the Thirteenth all kind of like oh, counselors? Not really. I have I think I have one guy that was a criminal. Like, he was talking about like I wish Nick or somebody would make a generic cop. Like, like, yeah. Label them as like kids, like teenagers. Right. Like, yeah. Victims. Victims. Yeah. I try to get Marvel Legends to start playing with you know. Women or the men in street clothes. Yes, that play, right. That those background characters or victims. That's what I I'm always like I I, I have a hard time passing up at like a good civilian yeah. figure for that kind of. Which speaking of, uh, I was thinking about the legend about Chavez. She was on oh, fifteen. America Chavez yeah, is fifteen. She, you know, That's 15, good. Yeah, like denim jacket. Person. Yeah. She'd be a great victim or just some background. Character. Yeah, I was waiting for that one to go down too. Because I actually. like to that city. Exactly, you right. Yeah, civilians. Yeah. Um, yeah, and the thing you see here, all these vehicles that aren't, some of them are actually would pass as like one 12 scale, right. but um, they're just good for like getting back there. And again, it's that forced perspective thing where they don't have to be exactly the right scale because the idea is that they're just going to be in the background, some extra detail. Oh yeah, like, like the these fence. cranes, yeah, different sizes, but they're that awesome. Fence, that fence in the back there, I guess they probably still have some different structure size. Like, yeah, right. You can have this like a whole little set. If you enjoy it. Yeah, we dusted the them. Fence in, you know. We dusted them with some spray paint to take to, to knock back that just like yellow plastic. Yeah, and kids the thing. With that fence in warning sign, like not like. Yeah, it rocks. It kind of gives you a a different area to work with. Well, ideally, like, at whatever our, our needs call for, if we wanted something that was a huge, you know, city, we could have the camera down here and pull these tables out and reconfigure yeah. the layout of everything. Just we can make it a U. As needed. Yeah, right. Right. I mean, have, you know, having your original, make it pick a huge sign or make it have one set structure. Like, the idea of like getting tables in there. Like, you just want to have the other room in there. I think we need to take that. I have a photo from the old Ninja Turtles line. Oh yeah. That looks like a, like a Cadillac. We need to just paint it with like Maybe. metallic car paint, Maybe yeah. like pearlescent, like uh, coated. That would be cool. And look like a real like souped up ride. I guess you don't have much room back there. Hey, what's up, folks? If I hadn't said what's up, we're hanging out with Galactic Geek today. We yeah we, uh, we actually have some some room to move around and 
fresh stuff to look at. Right. Yeah, this is awesome. This is so cool. Combine for that cabin to sit on. Oh, for the cabin. Oh, that's kind awesome. of have like a nature too. This is just you buy a fabric. Yeah. Serves as grass. And I add this to give it a different. Did you did you glue yeah, this I, moss? I cut and then glued that on. That's great. Different stuff like this. Yeah, that's awesome. But from that uh, cabin sitting on this, because then you have like this much room as like a front yard. Oh hell yeah, it right. Adds to the that's like tall grass. Yeah, tall grass in the back. Overgrown. Of the yeah. It really plays when you're just spinning on how you shoot it. Like, yeah. Again, not enough room for it. You can use this kind of stuff to uh, make it like the um, alley and stuff. You can build on its own little thing that can be set in between the building. Yeah, and actually, the building behind it, it would be great to do like if we make the the, the stoop and the and the storefront, and then have like if it, there's a park. Yeah. So it's like right. Pete Spidey's fighting uh, somebody in the in Central Park or in something like that. Because I mean, the, you know, the alley scene in the city is super cool, but being able to do just like regs, civilian life. Yeah. Not not necessarily you know, because that's a lot of times where. Yeah, right. A lot of possibilities with this thing. This is just an individual piece right there. Yeah, right. Same like same idea. Again, very, very old. Oh, even with water in it, yeah. Very old when I was testing out water, which is basically a lot of dry, hot room. And yeah, bring bring it, that in a little closer. Trying to give it a bit of a... The way I've seen people doing it now, they just like, like drill it very high. Like now there's some stuff you can actually buy with like a dry, deep roof. Oh right, 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 right. Paint it, like, yeah, but this is this rock though. Again, when you're shooting. Yeah, and it's it fuzzy shine, in the background. That, yeah. Yeah, that's just cool. Yeah, right. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. Yeah, right. That's when I like using the. And the and the paper craft is supplemented with exactly. It's only good to supplement real tactile stuff. Yeah. 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 And I, it's it's not paper, it's just it's cardboard, thing. Thing. but um, this is my favorite one because it has more dimension. The 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 posts and stuff. It's definitely my favorite one too. Yeah, one I, that's why I keep it up. I had several others that I've now used, but this is just super cool and it looks the best. It's yeah, good. right. And this being like in um in like in stage and theaters and film and stuff, when you can move a wall, it's called a wild wall. So this has that yeah, like you built in. You could take off, yeah, whatever side for whatever uh, to put your camera. It's definitely spooky though, so it doesn't hurt us for more than you know a very specific thing, but it's super cool. Yeah, I love this too. Well, you got a lot of horror stuff though. Yeah, that's basically why I bought it for the horror too, because they don't go well in the city. <laughs> you know, you see a cozy horror guy in New York. Oh, oh, yes, we have to do Jason in Manhattan. Manhattan. That would be amazing. Yeah, right. You well, you have that wet one too, right? The, the wet Jason. <laughs> yes, civilian. Oh, and actually, um, pick inch will be perfect for Jason too. So he'll be that seven inch, and yeah, right. Pick it up. Legends. Yeah, right. Yeah, that actually Jason That'd be. But other than that, you can And we have to like spray him now. <laughs> Make them wet. Soaking wet. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, this is going to be amazing. Right. Right. It's not, it doesn't have to be one, you know. Um, 
Yeah, I mean, it's got it's got me wanting to do more photo stuff. Hey, Backyard Legend, what's up, buddy? What's up, everyone else? If I haven't said, hey, Carlos, Gato, Backyard Toy Adventures. Um, we're here in Galactic Geek setup. Galactic Geek, I mean, is the reason I have a toy channel, really. He was the one that paved this way way before I was. And now you're killing it. You're killing it. You're awesome. It's, it's and great. It's, it's refreshing to have a channel that is going to from the spiral machine because don't even look it up. I'm yeah, well, that was kind of why because nobody else was really talking about it. You like want to find reasons to hate him and you know they're superior. Yeah, that Especially was. Especially at the price point, dude. They're, they're pounding every one of them. That was what it was because, like, I, I wasn't, like, collecting anything. I mean, this is like. You, a, you collect a bunch of different types of things. Absolutely. And I, I wasn't really quite in that kind of. Space and and I was getting like more expensive imports, which means you get fewer of them because they're more expensive. I mean, I collect everything from kids' cars to completely uh, order. Yeah, mean, it's really hard to make a channel about just one avenue of that stuff. Right. right. Well, that's and that's like I I did some I toy photography it. for a while on Instagram, and it's, it's like you you made a separate account, which actually makes more sense because right, like nothing will make people tune out faster than toys if it's not their thing they're exactly. just like they're gone they do I not a separate account for no. that reason yeah. yeah right which is you know the same that most of us do right right but uh yeah that's where most of the collecting stuff is sort of gone yeah. the only way to once you get into the photography you're like oh I could do I could build a set oh I need that guy I need that guy this is yeah. the Marvel Legend version of Rock Show for example is good enough super cool I mean we made them and it's yeah right from a few different but the one we've been working on recently, which is the McFarlane body and all that stuff, you can just it see looks, the difference. It has, yeah. Right. I, mean, I mean, it's just it's awesome. And I mean, the, we yeah. use Legends because there's way, way more characters. You can find anything you Way need. more body types, right. yeah. This is up what, four different trees um, and people. It's you got this Gambit. Yeah, it's actually, yeah, it's just two, oh, mostly. Right. And the hat the is from a so weird right. Jazz Wings thing. But the McFarlane one, man, already feels amazing. Yeah, Better yeah, we're gonna have to get hopefully the Grifter and the Constantine. Uh, see, I don't know, those aren't gonna go on sale, they're not gonna be easy to make or affordable to make. A bunch of custom actually, you got some old pods over here, not that old, but right when he did the Stranger Thing line, which I really wish he would just redo now that he's still in the game. Yeah, he used to be using these joints that are like. Yeah, pull out the. Uh, the same with the Walking Dead sequel sequels. They just really, I mean, there's nothing to them. The details are great. He's never lacked on details. And the paint's great, the but like these great. these hip joints with the big pins I in them. I mean, it's, it's ugly. It's a, I mean, but hey, the lightness and it's, it's cool to have the whole thing. But to, yeah, these look so good. I think that he would do them now. He would probably just nail them. Yeah. This this shelf is see you later. This deck is actually built from scratch. I bought the head on eBay. And found like a male body. Uh, now this is actually from his. You have a bunch of different outfits for that one yeah, too, he's, right? Yeah, he's got his still outfit here. That's awesome. Yeah, that's all custom. I bought the boots, the uh, gloves, his weapon, everything separately when he put it together. That rock. The head is fantastic. Were these both NECA? Both NECA. Side and show. Sideshow. Yeah. This again was built. I took the head off of a, an existing Dexter toy and then used the body. Of a, uh, a NECA. This is actually a NECA ghost face body. I took. Uh, oh, yeah, the hands, the you can tell. Took, yeah, right. the gloves are still there. And the boots. But even has the watch. The boots. What were they thinking here? Uh, the cloth and plastic. <laughs> <laughs> wow. This looks awful. I had to have it because once, once I got it in my hand, this is terrible. Yes. I thought it would be cool, but it's not. Mm -hmm. no. No, no. <laughs> the head's good. If you took this and Figured something else out. Or just made it all plastic. It's like, yeah, it looks cool. Hell, you could even take a uh, husk in here. Yeah, that coat. That coat, even. Yeah. You know, that Dark Man custom needs some work, but. Oh, this is going to be cool. awesome. Dark Man, see you later. The the blowing coat actually is just exactly yeah. perfect Dark Man. Right, and the hat from the Joker and then the coat. Yeah. Coming together pretty good. He's just super shiny. I got to dirty him up, give him some wear and tear a little bit. Because actually, in the movie, his coat's all ripped. You know, he looks yeah. pretty rough. So I'd like to give him a little dirtiness and a little story. Uh, tell a little story. Pull something. Too shiny. That rocks. Um, what else we got? 
like, oh, you know what? Look at this. It's a long time ago. I did a shelf tour way back when, and I had the black spy, and I told that story of I, I got the set and gave Black the Geek the white one, and I have the black one. So we're, yeah, we're locked in eternal combat till one of us dies. And he's got, he's got the dark. Yeah. Little does he know those, that I, I can so never great. die. They're good for vinyl. They're exactly right. what they should be. Exactly. That's perfect. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah. They, they've made other ones over the years, and they're all cut up, and they look like dog shit. Yeah. Um, this is. Yeah. They need to be that art. Yeah. yeah, they're good. They're solid. All right. We got anything else? I don't know. We got some stuff playing coming up that we didn't. Definitely show you guys as we uh, build this city into a city. Yeah. That'll be a lot of fun. We should get some, uh, we need to get some regular streams going from your channel from in here. You know, we could do some progress stuff. We could even, maybe, get some ideas. We're still pretty unsure on how we're going to do the storefront stuff. Right. Yeah, right. It'd be nice to get some feedback. Some different ideas. Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, oh, yeah, and actually, I'm kind of thinking, I might, I kind of want to use your wire, your foam cutting thing. Yeah. That uh, the TV cabinet that I made that is, has the cat bed in the middle where the where the TV used to be. Yes. That's the they they don't use it as a cat bed. They don't. Know that. But what would be awesome is if I made it a little city scene, like it's an episode of Batman on TV. You know. Mm. I mean, that'd be a cool thing to get into. That kind of for a right permanent city scene yes and it's like and it's like the, it's the top of the roof but it's only like that high right because it's setting yeah. in the thing and it's high enough where you got this, this right here is actually gonna be on the top. yeah right and you're only gonna get the top half if it has like this trim you know yeah but that's really neat yeah right so you just shoot oh, it. oh yeah. yeah that's that's the idea there but yeah there's this thing and then i have this handheld oh for yes this thing gets super hot it's just kind of surprising it's really good if you want to just cut a big piece into smaller manageable pieces, then you bring it up on this little bad boy. It's super precise. It's super nice. You can do in the, some of the videos I've watched, people are doing like steps or like um, intricate, like you know, rain scouting or all the, like the details in like the ceiling. Oh, stuff. right, right, right. So yes. Right around you can get really yeah, right, right. So we're trying to get some ideas on how to. Yeah. I think a little bit more depth. Like Actually, that would be all and and like the, the like the. Like the walls that have um, molding like halfway down. Yeah. Stuff like that. They you have a piece of trim. Room. Yeah, right, right. That adds so much. I never realized you could see it. Yeah. No, just, you can like, separate and change it. I mean, you can put some balsa wood and some paneling. Yeah, I, I would. I, so I'd like to do some interior stuff. We could put it into a building and then show what that inside Actually go through a window. Yeah. Right. We don't have much interior stuff. No. Which I'd like to make like Matt finishes off with. So like, you know, Yes, right, setting. right. Because you can make cubicles out of this stuff too easy. Oh, because not only can you that's cut, great, you can right. also go and cut the ceiling for it. You know? Right. When you turn it this way, you can make a panel that's just super thin that you can make just a floor. Do you have matte finish? Or you have Phil Stokes? I, uh, because we made, when we made all these custom characters, we also made, um, like the, the two secret identities of, of Drop Shadow and Phil Stroke. Uh, and I gave those men to, uh, Wilson and Danny. Oh yes, my the human. He's yes. Down, he's downstairs. So we have a couple of these human guys, regular. Kind of like a man bag on. Yes, right, right. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah, just their. Uh, yeah. The uh, quick change. Yeah. What do we got anything else? All right, guys. Uh, yeah, hey, sorry if the audio has been cutting out a bit. Yeah, I think it may be probably because I'm carrying the the laptop around and it maybe and the connection is we're out in the garage. Um, yeah. Thanks for stopping by and checking it out. Yeah, go go follow Galactic Geek and then turn on notifications because if we if we're gonna do more streams from down here, I, I want to do it from his channel. We'll work on that city dial and we'll mess around. I got some other stuff coming custom wise. We'll be doing some of that too. Been wanting to do a, an after we move, get settled into like a, at least one week night stream a week. 
Yeah. yeah. Like a regular one, not a game stream. Well, I think, you know, I think more people can out. hang out. That's You're just it. like talking about the new toy you got. Like, I got a bunch of toys coming today and tomorrow that I might not necessarily review, but I just want to. Oh, yeah, you should do it. Because it's been yeah. fun. I just like, because I, I have time to do it during the day. Yeah. And and uh, it, it works out for some folks. I know they're able to jump on, but I, I, a lot of other people are like, man, I can never make it. So. Yeah, you can archive them, but yeah. But they like, you know. I've got a few years after the fact that like, during the day I wake up and like, watch it live and it like, still pop up in my. Right. Like, you know, air yeah, 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 yeah. They, they get archived. Archive. I know I know people like throw them on and play them while they're just while they're hanging out in their toy room. Yeah. But, uh, I don't, you know, usually I'm usually I'm more attentive to the chat and we're we're talking more. I'm, I've been all over the place in here today but you know what sometimes sometimes i'm in the chat and sometimes and typically i'm not even on the camera i usually do my videos where i'm behind the camera but with the custom and all the other stuff that i have playing i'll probably do a little bit more of the sessions where i'm showing and talking about what i'm doing more i was really i i didn't i didn't really care to be the guy like in front of the camera uh, but having done it like and actually like it we've got i've got to know so many of the people that watch the channel and stuff and made friends that way so it's actually been pretty rad yeah, at I, first I figured nobody really cares except for what I'm doing. I know? feel like this, my, my channel turned a corner when I started hanging out and stuff. Right. It became Which, yeah, since way more fun, too. A lot more of this kind of stuff, showing the background stuff, I think, is interesting. So, yeah. If you're going to be doing it, might as well show it. Oh, yeah. Uh, Puppyplex subscribed. Xterra, it's uh, Galactic Geek. Appreciate it's it. it's in the. Uh, here, I'll write it. Uh, Galactic underscore Geek. Galactic underscore Geek. So that I don't even know if that link. It's in the uh, it's in the name of the this video description. All right, guys, we're gonna we're gonna close it out. Thanks for hanging out. We will uh, we'll do this more. Keep you in the loop. Check out our comic. Uh, it's like one week left now, basically. I think as yeah, I think next Friday it ends. So. Yeah, get in there. Thanks so much for watching. Talk to you all very soon. Thanks. Peace out.